Hello dear friends, it's Angelina and Dima from Walking Asia World. We're in the province of Valencia now, in the village of Chulia, and are excited to start a new hike. Ruta de las Pantoneras or Hanging Bridges Trail, follow the gorge of the river Turia. This one of the most popular trails in the area is one way 5 km long hike that we think will take us 2 hours or so to do. This trail is going to be full of amazing natural views and historical discoveries too. We start very early today at 6 am, which hopefully helps us to avoid the crowds. So let's see if we succeed and you are welcome to follow us along. Here from this first viewpoint we can see the narrowest part of the canyon of the river Turia, which was one of the most difficult parts back then, like many years ago, when the people had to transport wood from Cuenca to Valencia, following the course of the river Turia. And it is hard to imagine how did they do it, because it is, it is really, really narrow. And yeah, just a curious fact. We have just read another interesting fact on the info board here. It is believed that here in this place many many years ago was located the enormous flour mill which was using the flow of the river and the canyon to make the flour and it is said that the continuous floods washed away the mill and all the remains but it would be such a cool spot to visit as well.
now we are getting close to the first bridge, 21 meters long and 15 meters high, that crosses the river Turia from side to side. It is made of wood, steel and iron, and is solid although it still sways. The story of these suspension bridges is very interesting and dates back to 1950s, when the Lorigia Reservoir was built, that will pass later on. Many workers back then moved to the town Chulia and its population increased significantly. Every day they had to get to work by the difficult mountain pass that was winding along the river canyon and it was quite a long journey. So it was then when it was decided to build several bridges across the canyon to make the trip much shorter. Unfortunately, it didn't last long and in October 1957, one of the major floods in Lansan history washed away the bridges. The bridges were built only in 2013 to attract more tourists to the area. Now we're in the second suspension bridge, which is about 5 meters above the river and 28 meters long. We're now surrounded by perfect vertical walls and we are wondering how they've been formed. And the geology gives us an answer. Millions of years ago, Turia managed to find its way through the huge mass of limestone and little by little the waters were undermining the hard rock, losing its foundations and collapsed in large blocks, the region of the vertical cuts of the canyon. It is worth to mention that this area is very popular among climbers, testing their limits on these vertical walls. And this is like paradise for climbers due to the amount of these walls and huge choice. And the locals even say that from October to April, the town is crowded with climbers and it is the hot season for them basically, because the weather is favorable probably, and some even believe that climbers opened up this route to the general public and made it popular.
have climbed now to Loregia Dam. The construction of it was started in 1950 and it was complete in 1965. And this reservoir now supplies water to the hydroelectric power plant and irrigation to farmland. Now in the summer, kayaking and fishing are some of the popular activities here. So here we finish Hanging Bridges Trail. We like and enjoy it very much. It is a very scenic path following the river gorge. I would say that the difficulty is easy because there is there was no pronounced uphills nor downhills. We just had one downhill at the start and then the trail goes mostly flat. So it is very family friendly for all levels and all ages. It felt like a refreshing walk all in the shade. Even on the summer day it feels very nice and cool. It is all surrounded by nature and greenery and you can meet plenty of birds and animals here because the flora and fauna is very rich here due to the proximity of river. So this is very picturesque overall and you barely notice doing these 5 kilometers because of how easy and beautiful it is. You're just enjoying every moment and trying to surrender to the beauty around. You can do this trail in any season, even in summer, but spring and autumn are nice too. In July and August there is plenty of people here and to escape the crowds you need to start early and avoid going on weekends. That is all for today guys. Hope this video was inspiring for you and until the next time very soon. Bye. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this hiking trip. If so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!